bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time and we do have joy and stability we are taking it we love it and the lovers gemini energy and the emperor aries energy so it's a love reading so it's so in line with the energy we want to see so i'm picking up the energy of a scorpio who is maybe in love with an aries or um, is getting organized to fall in love with someone receiving love joy and stability so let's see four of wands is the energy of marriage the energy of commitment living together under the same roof so you might be in that situation so scorpio past energy is on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual let's have current energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual and let's have the possible outcome for you the person you are dealing with and mutual beautiful bottom of the deck eight of swords we are bound to someone or someone is bound to you scorpio let's see um eight of swords is the energy of a mental prison so wow well this is some clarity scorpio right ace of swords and the magician tons of manifestation in the past tons of clarity tons of communication sharing ideas developing a plan feeling confident feeling that you have what it takes to move forward um magical new beginnings um the magician is one ace of swords is one so uh it's really like turning the page and not looking at the past it has this energy but Mainly I'm picking up the energy of these, these bright ideas uh, that um, you want to implement or like an awakening, but of the most uh, rational nature, right? This is how it feels, Ace of Swords, the Magician. Uh, now this person of your Scorpio, they might have um, taken off in some way. We do have the Eight of Wands, a uh, quick shift in movement. This is really um you know 180 type of change um because they didn't know better two of swords right they were blindfolded refusing to see and somebody took an impulsive type of action eight of wands is like a world of action um it's really quick and um you know kind of difficult to manage um and the two of swords um in a in a uh, blind anger in a blind reckless type of energy it's like deciding boom this is what's going what's going to happen on an impulse and we do have the judgment um and we do have uh the star aquarius energy and uh we have um blossoming and we have healing between the two of you so two major arcana two major transformations one going through rebirth and second chances the the other one healing and i kind of feel um scorpio that you are the magician and the star um because there is an energy of enlightenment right that is an energy of following divine guidance this is the energy of deep intuition and spiritual awakenings and knowing and following divine guidance right and uh, probably you gave them second chances um scorpio in the past you know because rebirth is also the energy of reconciliation of of um coming back together deciding to give it a, like a second shot and um but you are on your path there's such a beautiful energy in the past being on your path and following it um so where are we right now uh probably silent probably more listening than um than talking and at crossroads but it's a beautiful sense of crossroads. You know, sometimes we say, well, crossroads, yeah, I, I need to make radical ch uh, changes. But it's more than that, right? It's the call of the intuition. It's the call of the mind. It's call of the knowledge. High Priestess is all about knowledge, collecting data and information, making informed decisions, not rushing into something and spreading your wings slowly. Um, spreading your wings slowly. If that is... Um, and it's such a coherent energy, right? In the past, we had this awakening and clarity of the mind and a plan, or at least an idea of plan that is more and more concrete. And now we have you listening uh, wisely, right? That's a high priestess listening wisely and, and combining all sources of, of information to spread your wings. Now this person of yours, um, well, they are confronting fears. Um, the moon, Pisces energy and the strength, Leo energy. So part an emotional wreck, part of um, taking control, right? It's, uh, 
it's actually right now this is a person going from a lot of emotions and reactions and deep emotions and deep feelings and deep fears and that they need to confront and depression and anxiety going to I'm going to take control over and probably they do and they move back to emotions two completely opposite emotions one of inner strength and courage taming control and being in a place of power and the other one is being in a place of emotions and uh, weakened by emotions so kind of up and down um but again right because they are going through major transformations uh to major arcana again just like your connection your connection is going through uh, divine transformations there now mutual energies between the two of you five of pentacles feeling lonely and the emperor you might be dealing with an aries or there might be an aries between the two of you or maybe one is taking control and feeling strong and that's what separates um i do feel that they are searching themselves right now and and you are in a very powerful place a place of authority a place of leadership place of strength um control developing a plan while the other person is feeling lonely and i feel it's not you scorpio because you are spreading your wings slowly um and wisely for that matter right high priestess um so things not said between you and your person um probably separation isolation not talking you know an energy of um <clears throat> of advancing alone that's how it feels advancing alone uh, but they are in a deep depression there well look at the outcome scorpio moving on and we have your energy release and move on we have death which is your your card your energy your zodiac sign and um we are emotionally detaching again this feeling of slowly spreading your wings right slowly looking at the future and seeing the beauty of it and this person of yours they are afraid of losing you four of wands and the nine of swords darkest fears of joy and stability darkest fears of losing a marriage a commitment a home a root whatever you guys um, have built together i mean quite afraid and um um scorpio the mutual energies between the two of you and coming and the outcome coming your way and the outcome of this we have you again believe and succeed six of wands believe and succeed we have you succeeding we have you spreading your wings we have you moving on i believe what stands between you and your person is actually you deciding to chase after success and 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 move on and and make different choices and and take another road we'll see that but there is no doubt when we look at the overall energy we do have the four of wands the lovers gemini energy and the emperor somebody is taking control of their joy stability and love and i kind of feel scorpio this is all you but let's see let's ask for some guidance let's see what we need to know pay attention to be aware of and the divine feminine oh someone is ascending spiritually scorpio and if you are a scorpio divine feminine this is what we need to focus on ascension forgiveness unconditional love spirituality right and coming from a place of divine what else scorpio be supportive this person of yours they need help so make a genuine effort to show you care you are dealing with someone who really is in need of support um again nine of swords the energy of anxiety and depression uh the moon the energy of deep emotions overwhelming so i kind of feel they need you and you are in a place of strength um consider your foundation look at how committed you are to love somebody is um and we feel uh, honestly we feel you detaching right spread your wings and move on I, I feel that slowly you come to your own energy and your own path and and um somebody here is absolutely letting go sexual freedom um and bottom of the deck simple act of kindness kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you yes right and we have be supportive and simple acts of kindness i kind of feel scorpio that you are guided um you know because this person i mean they are um, in such a turmoil right i feel that you are guided to be supportive and um 
you know, but at the end of the day, uh, you have your own path and you have your own freedom to claim. So let's see the energies we want to put back into the flow. And we have release again. You have three times, um, Scorpio. Of course, it, it's your energy in this deck. Death is actually comes with the message, release. And the guidance goes with release. You have the ability to give over unwanted energies to the loving forces of the universe. Release and let go. We have purpose. I know what I'm here to do. And it feels like a light bulb. It feels like an awakening in the past. The Magician and Ace of Swords, you cannot have more clarity than that. Okay. Wow. We have given received the Six of Pentacles. Imagine that. Mixed with the Oracle cards. Give and receive. Release, give and receive energies of kindness and justice and balance. Um, Scorpio, surrender your addictions. Whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. And bottom of the deck, we have surrender to divine timing. Sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough, according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. Now you saw the cards as I uh, saw it, right? And um, so you let me know the guidance you receive. But in this reading, I'm sensing spreading your wings. That's exactly your energy. Spreading your wings, moving on towards success. While they are so afraid to lose you, Scorpio. So afraid. Ah, uh, the moon, nine of swords. Afraid to lose the joy and stability they created with you. So... Uh, they are trying to stay in control. I feel this is more the overall energy. It's more their energy, right? Because you have control and lead. I kind of feel they are trying to take control over and feel secure and safe again in a family setting, in a, um, in a home with you, probably. So anyways, hey, this is all that I have for you. Please take care. Please stay safe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care. Bye.